Hey everybody, I'm Maxwell Grave back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. So everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Gray back with more reactions with the next doing Jujutsu Kaisen, this time specifically doing episode 16, Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event Group Battle 2. Probably should have done this one right after the other one. Whatever. Uh, I'm excited for it because last time we left off on some really funny, also really action-packed parts. And I know because of um, accidentally seeing previews, not like full videos, but like thumbnails of other people's things, Things that had been reminded, but I'd forgotten, so I forgot that they had, like, predicated that they were going to attack the thing until I was... Actually, it wasn't even that. I was editing some of my old footage, right, to put up on YouTube, and I saw that, and I was like, oh, right, they said they were going to come attack the thing, so we got to look forward to the curses being a third party fighting in this, on top of the two schools fighting each other, both in the attempts to win the thing, but in reality, just to kill Yuji, which sucks for him, and eventually I'll remember everybody's name, but that is not today. It is not today, guys. Bad of names, places, dates, information. And we're going to get started. As always, remember to support the original content creators on Crunchyroll or buy and jump the graphic novels wherever you choose to buy them. Or, you know, how you choose to uh, rent. <laughs> Whoa. The hands and the eyes. Huh. It's not wrong. Interesting. Those with good eyes. Well, that's not good for me. Interesting s music. Sorry, I forgot. Don't eat. <laughs> Yep, locked. Pretty typical. What do you do, best friend? I love that they're just, he's just like, we're best friends. I love that he's teaching him. I'm guessing positive emotions start in the fist. Ah, okay. With everything as one. Right. This guy's smarter than he looks. <laughs> Toto. I remember his name because I had to type it. Oh, although I spelt his name wrong. Shit. That or they spelt his name wrong. Either way, it's probably me though. Oh god, not the f flashbacks. It's just so weird. Alright, let's skip past the intro. That was really cool! Uh, it was a bit, uh... It's, it's always a bit creepy just because of that guy's, like, real interesting, like, obsession with him for suddenly just because he has the same... Don't eat. I'm, I'm trying to get better. 
No, he's like, we know. Oof. Scary. <laughs> I like her. No! He's down. It's a panda! Panda punch! Let's just get along. Since we're so similar, he's a... Puppets. Oh. Interesting. This guy got f***ed up at some point. Look at his crazy ass arm and claws. Sword. Whoa. What the f*** is that made of? Busta on... Uh, ultra spin. See, it's really tough for me to gauge how fast these guys are, because he's got a rocket on his arm, right? So you just imagine he's pretty damn fast. But I really can't tell. So we got third grades, fourth grade. Well, and some of these are because they're early in, so like even though like technically these two are third grades, they probably will put out nearly mid- same with Itadori, even regardless of the thing, obviously he's fighting with Toto right now, kind of one-on-one, -on -one, but not, obviously Toto's giving him a break to teach him a bit, at the start for sure, a little. Not at the very, very start, but once they were friends. Best friends. Um, but this is cool. Okay, so I see what's going on here. You got this one. I don't know who this is again. Um, and then these two. Interesting. This chick is there. Well, they think these two are there, right? Yeah. But he wants to know. First? Semi first, that sucks. Oh! Damn, he actually ate that. I really gotta stop eating. I'm so bad at that. Generic name for inanimate objects that house curses and operate independently. What if this guy is himself inside the panda body? That would be crazy. Oh, it's actual panda! What the hell? Born with emotions. Oh. So he's literally one of his dolls, but he just has emotions. Jesus. So Panda is the physical superior here, at least in speed and likely in strength. Yep, okay. But damage output is not the same as speed and strength. And once again, there's matchups such as Blunt versus Sharp, right? That guy's got the sword, which I think could probably maybe do some serious damage. Butt bump. He's pretty smart, man. You won't be doing either. Heavenly Pact. There's a self pact, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he's born like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. He's going ham, son. He's going ham. Oh! Nabara. Oh, Jesus. It's a Kamehameha! He's... No! No! I don't think you got him, though, for several reasons. Oh, jeez, he's a monkey now! What the f- What the f- Is not a panda. Well, we knew that. But what is he? What is he? What is he? 
I don't know. I don't know what Panda is. What I do know is, holy shit, son! He is uh, looking crazy. He looks like a gorilla monkey. He's literally got monkey parts. Look at his hands. Damn, it, that's dope, whatever it is. Ooh! Single core. This guy's got moto. Okay, cool. Panda core, focused on balance. Gorilla core, power, short, decisive battles. And my bashful older sister who won't show up in this fight until the end. Oh! And the last one exhausted the panda core, so he's got one left. Okay, so that's why older sister's not out. I thought that being bashful, she just wouldn't show up until the end when we absolutely need her for plot. Which is good writing, honestly. God damn it! I love that they're setting up kind of for the fight, you know what I mean? So he's lost ultimate cannon. Okay, so he pounds through cursed energy. He got to hurry. Smart man. I love that they're making it very much caught up with Ruby. Hey, how's it going, Courtney? I uh, I did just catch up with Ruby earlier. We uh, we try not to do those ones too much on stream, uh, mostly because we end up getting flagged a bunch, but also because uh, we save that one for some of our patrons who are real big Ruby fans, so we can give them a little bit of a uh, head start. But yes, we definitely uh, did. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Sorry if it took a while for me to recognize your comment. I'm sure it's been f forever. Oh, man, they're getting a real good fight. Oh, fire blast. Oh, no. Mecha Panda. Man, they're going at it. I like the sound effects kind of for the uh... <laughs> It's a little wild, but it's also good, you know? This core is where it's cursed energy is densest. Oh, pinpoint precision. Did he trick him though by keeping his energy just away from his core? Like... I called it! I already concealed the number of cores anyway, right? That's it. And it took his arm off, so he won that fight. Although it does take into it. Mekamaru. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your powerful moves. <laughs> Why go from, like, real advice to that? I guess it's to show that he cares. I'm not like that. One day. I thought he couldn't move anything below his legs. Does he have metal on there? Wait a minute! One day, okay, this is his dream. I was like, wait a minute. I was feeling dumb. Okay. Let me your phone. <laughs> Ultimate Mekamaru. Retired. And that should almost be it for this episode, I'm pretty certain. Oh, hey, look. Weapon wielder. No way. Is incredibly strong. Just, I think, not without her, like, items. Uh, that was good. That was good, good. I liked it. I liked that episode a lot. I thought that the writing was just the other side of predictable, you know what I mean? Like, where it was going where you kind of wanted it to and felt like it would go, but wasn't, like, 
so crazy that it didn't make any sense, right? It was like, oh, cool. Oh, they did it like this. And oh, that's why he wins like this, you know? And and having these individual character stuff going in. So it was cool. I, I liked it. It was cool. Seeing Panda's and Mechamaru's backstory in this episode. And there's the Juju Stroll area. Utahime. Do they have him do everything? Oh my god. <laughs> Are they afraid? <laughs> Takata-chan's live streaming. Yeah, they seem a little bit like jerks. Ah, ah. I'm still scared of them. I expect that from her. She seems like kind of the newer lightweight. But if I That's so silly. We like you. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah. In your blood pool. Jesus. Poor dude. Alright, so. Uh, as you can see, next episode looks like it's going to be lit, and we're going to roll right into it. I missed somebody's comment, and I feel like a huge jackass. But I want to say a special shout-out and thanks to them, because they are awesome. Uh, as always... Uh, thank you for watching Reactions with the Next. I am Axel Grave, and this has been Jujutsu Kaisen. Remember to support the original content creator. Why don't I go into that before I start breaking down the episode? Because you really should, you know, go to Crunchyroll, check out the anime or the manga on whatever, you know, wherever you can find it. That that's legal, um, and supports the original creators because they worked hard on it and they deserve the support. Uh, with that said, I really, like I said, I really like this episode. There was a ton of cool stuff with like explaining how the mechanics of like higher level jujutsu kaisen stuff works the body mind soul thing is going to be interesting for them because not a lot of series go into mind and soul stuff there's you know there's series and universes that do but i feel like there's such obscure terms and like limits to the div sorry uh not limits but blurriness between the divisions of them like what's magic and what's you know soul stuff mind stuff where does the line drawn of what's your heart decide in your soul etc so i'm very interested to see how it goes forward especially because they've talked about the heart soul mind in this and i wonder and obviously the cursed energy being produced inside but being able to be produced from everywhere not just produced here and then moved out which is cool um I'm trying to think of other things. I mean, it was just cool to think about the Cursed Corpse. And it made sense for Panda to be that way. I think the only reason I didn't think about it like that is because I wanted him to be a real panda. That was, that was it. Um, and obviously there's going to be more stuff that will hopefully make good sense. And it made really good sense in writing. So it was really good, like, moving writing into that. I really can't wait to start reading the manga. I might do that on stream and stuff as well. But we'll figure that out when we do that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this episode, but thanks for coming on to Jujutsu Kaisen Reactions with the next. If you enjoyed watching and want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect, and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a tweet or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're starving for more content, you can become an honorary member of Dream Production at patreon.com slash dreambeats and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you would sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.